On November 23, 2024, during the Iranian Navy Day celebrations, Rear Admiral Sharami Rani, the commander of the Iranian Navy, unveiled key developments in the country's naval forces, signaling a robust shift toward enhancing its maritime capabilities. With the addition of new domestically built submarines, Iran is clearly positioning itself as a significant player in both regional and global maritime affairs. Admiral Irani highlighted the ongoing advancements in Iran's naval infrastructure, notably the construction of new submarines designed to bolster the country's strategic posture. This focus on expanding the submarine fleet is in line with Iran's broader shift from a land-based military economy to one that emphasizes maritime power, a vital element in the nation's evolving defense strategy. The Iranian Navy's modernization plans are set to significantly influence the region's naval dynamics, particularly in the context of the strategic Strait of Hormuz and beyond. The addition of these submarines will enhance Iran's ability to exert influence over vital international shipping lanes, aligning with the Navy's role in maintaining regional stability while safeguarding maritime commerce. In his address, Admiral Irani also reflected on the Navy's historic achievements, particularly the pivotal Operation Morvarid Pearl, carried out during the Iran-Iraq War in 1980. The operation was instrumental in neutralizing Iraq's naval forces, essentially eliminating them for the rest of the conflict. The Navy's success in this operation, as well as its vital role in escorting over 10,000 commercial and oil tankers through perilous waters during the war, cemented its position as a cornerstone of Iran's defense strategy. Iran's submarine fleet includes a range of vessels with varying capabilities, reflecting the country's commitment to expanding its naval power through both indigenous and foreign-built assets. Currently, Iran operates three Russian-built Kilo-class diesel-electric submarines. These 74-meter-long submarines, which entered service in the early 1990s, are armed with six 533mm torpedo tubes and are capable of launching torpedoes and anti-ship cruise missiles. Although these submarines are primarily based near the Strait of Hormuz, their size and operational limitations make them less effective in the shallow waters of the Persian Gulf. The Iranian Navy has also made significant strides in developing indigenous submarine classes, such as the Fateh class and the Ghadar class. The Fateh class represents a leap forward in submarine design and capability, with the first submarine of this class entering service in 2019. These semi-heavy submarines can operate at depths exceeding 200 meters for nearly five weeks equipped with four 533mm torpedo tubes capable of launching torpedoes, cruise missiles, and laying mines. The Goddard-class midget submarines, in service since 2007, are designed for operations in the shallow waters of the Persian Gulf. These submarines are smaller, weighing 150 tons, and are equipped with two 533mm torpedo tubes and the ability to lay mines. There are currently between 12 and 22 Goddard-class submarines in service, providing Iran with a versatile and agile capability in the region. In addition to these operational submarines, Iran is also working on the development of newer and more advanced classes, such as the Nahang class and the Basat class. The Nahang class, which entered service in 2006, is a domestically produced midget submarine that weighs approximately 400 tons. It serves as a prototype for Iran's ambitions to produce larger and more sophisticated submarines in the future. This class is equipped with the ability to fire large torpedoes, surface-to-surface -surface missiles, and lay mines. One of the most anticipated additions to Iran's fleet is the Basat class, an attack submarine that is currently under development. In 2023, Admiral Irani announced that the first Basat class submarine would join the Iranian Navy within one to two years. These submarines are expected to be armed with surface-to-surface -surface and surface-to-air missiles, in addition to torpedoes, expanding Iran's naval arsenal with advanced offensive and defensive capabilities. Iran's growing submarine fleet, coupled with its increasing emphasis on naval power, is reshaping the regional security landscape. The development of advanced submarines will enhance Iran's ability to secure strategic choke points, such as the Strait of Hormuz, through which a significant portion of the world's oil passes. This bolstered maritime capability also positions Iran to play a more influential role in combating piracy, smuggling and maritime terrorism, threats that affect global shipping and security. Furthermore, Iran's enhanced naval presence serves as a reminder of the country's broader geopolitical ambitions, which include expanding its influence in the Middle East and asserting its sovereignty over regional waters. As the Iranian navy continues to evolve, its ability to project power across the Persian Gulf and beyond will likely shape the future of maritime security in the region. In conclusion, Iran's continued investment in its naval forces, particularly the development of new submarine classes, underscores a broader strategic pivot toward maritime dominance. 
This transition not only enhances Iran's regional influence but also ensures that its naval capabilities are increasingly capable of meeting the demands of both national defense and global maritime security. Thank you.